RSS feed automation is now live. So I can jump into the RSS tab, which was not there before, and I can add an RSS feed. Let's go find one. So we've taken the liberty of grabbing an RSS feed URL, and I'm gonna paste that here and call this sports. So you can find RSS feed URLs um, fairly easily. We've written an article in our help desk, so just go up to help tutorials or help articles and you'll be able to see um, how to do that. Just type in RSS and search and you'll find our RSS feed articles. Now you can create messages in a number of ways. It can pull in only the link title of the new post, the link description, or the link title and description. So the way RSS feeds work, if you don't already know, is let's say you have a popular blog that you want to publish kind of as your own content, but give them credit for it. What you would do is just go to that blog, go to that blog and find their RSS feed URL, and it's going to publish whatever new stuff they put out there, and it's going to publish it directly into your queue. So I can have... Um, all of the link information that they provide in the feed um, or only some of it. So they tend to give you a separate um, title and a separate description. So what you'll need to do is, like I would start with title and description, and if these start publishing to your queue where it looks funny, like there might you know, be duplication in the post. If there is, you'd probably wanna not do both because they might be repeating the information in both places. In that case, you would probably just switch it to link title or description. You might have to play around with it a little um, until you get it just the way you want. And like I said, every blog does it differently. So there's no like one size fits all. The next step is to append text. And what I recommend doing is giving them some credit. So this is Fox News um, Sports. So Fox Sports. So I'm going to say via Fox Sports, and that way every time um, one of their posts comes through and I publish it to my social profiles, it's going to give them credit and tag them, and hopefully we'll get a retweet by them uh, or some kind of a mention. Um, I'm going to add the latest 10 posts to the queue. So what this will do is import 10 posts and then new ones going forward. So anytime they add a new post, Every hour we check and refresh, and any new posts that came in that hour, we are going to also add those to the queue. And it's for that reason that I don't recommend using 10. Um, if you have a post or a blog that is updating frequently, like let's say multiple times per day, then you probably wouldn't want to select 10 because now it's going to be pulling in 10 posts which are going to be um, old relatively quickly. If they're going to be posting another one in a few hours anyway, why not only pull in the latest one post, and then in an hour you'll get a fresh post as well. So only bring in like the last 10 posts if you know that this particular um, blog only posts maybe once a week or twice a week. Um, which social profile should we post to? This is where you would select which social profiles you want to include in these posts. You can also select a category. Um, I'll leave this as main, but you might have, like, this is sports, right? And if you have a sports category in your schedule, this will tag all of these posts that come through as sports, and it will post them only at times in your schedule that are designated for sports. Um, if you want, you can also create a separate category for every RSS feed if you really care about when these particular ones go out. You can have an email you when it's published. You can requeue all of these, um, and you have ver a variety of options. You know, maybe you only want these to requeue twice, or maybe you only want these to requeue until the end of the year. You can do that as well. You can hold the posts for your approval, and what that does is it will add these to your queue, but they'll just sit there until you individually approve each one. This is a good option for um, social discovery. So if you want great content ideas being piped into your queue, you can do that. And you only need to post the ones that you want. It also gives you an opportunity to change them. So if you see one that you really like, it's a great article, go ahead and click edit and you'll be able to change it to add your voice to it. 
and um, then publish it right back to the queue. You can also attach images. I do not recommend doing this unless you're noticing that the blog post is picking terrible images. Um, but if the images look great, it's better to use that. If you are noticing that it's like, let's say it's always pulling in, like Facebook is always pulling in the header image for that blog instead of the individual image for the post, um, just click attach image. And what it will do is that it automatically attach the image that um, the RSS feed has assigned for that particular post. And you can also specify which social network. So let's say it only looks strange on Twitter because their linter, like I said, is pulling in the wrong image. Well, then tell it to only attach the image in the tweet. Very simple. Trim tweets if needed. Um, what happens here, I recommend leaving this on. Let's say that this particular um, author is verbose and they've created a 500 word description for their post. What it will do is trim that back and we will never cut off your URLs and we will never cut off your appended text. What we do instead is we will take the length of this into account and your link will take into account and we'll delete that um, the end of the message all the way down to where it will fit to 280 characters exactly. With no further ado, let's add this RSS feed and see what happens. Okay, so the RSS feed has been added. It's already importing. So you can see the power of this. You're not typing a thing, but it is creating 10 really great posts for your queue. Okay, now that we've reached 10, note that it will tell you when the last refresh was. It will do this every hour. You can also force it to refresh immediately. You can pause the RSS feed, um, edit or delete. Let's jump into the queue and see what, what's late, latest in the sporting world here. So now this queue was empty, but now we've got these 10 great posts. So you'll notice that it's flagged as being via the RSS. It's already written the message for us and everything looks great. So huge time saver. Um, I can always jump back in to RSS and add additional ones. Um, if most of you that are watching this are on our business plan, it's our most popular plan, and that gives you up to 20 RSS feeds. Uh, if you upgrade to Enterprise, you get up to 100 RSS feeds. So I can't wait to see what you guys do with this. It's going to save you a ton of time. And until next time, I'm going to say goodbye and let you guys go play. Don't forget to go in and change that um, browser history. Clear it out. You only need to clear the images and cache, not your previous browsing history. Uh, but please clear out your um, images and cache. Enjoy.